Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 8 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about Livewire Lifecycle Hook. A lifecycle of Livewire application includes various changes the application has to go through in order to be completed. The Laravel Livewire provides six types of lifecycle hooks methods so that we can make use of these methods for various regions uh, such as control DOM update when the value of property changes, uh, show a message to the client uh, when some lengthy task is being performed, uh, set or unset properties, etc. So let's see how Livewire lifecycle hooks work. Uh, so for that, first of all, let's create a Livewire component. So switch to the command prompt and uh, just type here the command php artisan make colon livewire a space component name uh, let's say component name is product now run the application so just write here php artisan serve now switch to the project and uh, first of all let's uh, add let's create the route for this product component so just go inside the routes directory then we have PHP and uh, here just add route get and add here the URI and uh, let's say URI is product and now just add here the uh, component class name which is product so just write here product colon class colon colon class and also add here the uh, product component class uh, file path now save this file and uh, now just go inside the product component class file okay so for that just click on app http livewire and from here just open product.php file and inside this component class file uh, let's create some property so for that just write here public uh, property name uh, let's say property property name is title and another property which is dollar name and Create one more property public dollar info. Okay, I'm just going to create this property uh, array. So for that, just write a equal sign and big bracket. Okay, now this is the array property. Now let's add the life cycle hook methods. Okay, so first life cycle hook uh, is mount. So adding uh, mount uh, lifecycle hook method just write here public function and hook name which is mount so just write here mount and inside this I'm just going to uh, put a text inside this array uh, whenever uh, execute this mount hook all right so for that just write here dollar this arrow infos add here the big bracket is equal to uh, instead here a text application is mounting all right this is the first hook uh, uh, first hook method to be executed and uh, runs before uh, this render method all right now let's add the uh, another hook method which is hydrate so just write here public function and hook method name which is hydrate and inside this let's copy this text and paste here now change here the text hydrating hydrating all right hydrate hooks uh, executes on every request to the server and before any changes to be performed uh, such as updating saving or any other option all right and now let's add here the next hook which is updating so just write here public function and hook name which is updating and inside this we'll pass here two argument first is name and another one is value and inside this let's copy this Line and paste here and just change here the text updating updating hooks triggers uh, before when any of the properties are to be updated all right 
now just add here the another hook which is updated so just write here public function updated and here just write the argument name and value now just copy this text and paste here updated uh, this updated hooks triggers after component property updated all right and now let's add here the fifth hook which is updating property so for that just write here public function and hook name which is updating and property name I'm just going to use here this property name all right so just write here property property name in title case uh, so first just type here the first character in capital case so just write here uh, capital in and this character in a small so just write here like this and inside this hook just copy and paste here and now change here the text updating name property all right and now uh, this updating name executes before the property name is to be updated all right and now just uh, add here the final hook which is public function and updated and just add here the property name which is name so just write here name and now copy this line and paste here and just change here the text updated all right uh, this updated name hook uh, executes after the property name uh, is to be updated all right now save this file and uh, just go inside the component view file so just click on resources directory and uh, then views live wire and just open product.play.php file and inside this component view file let's create a uh, two input text field okay so just write here input type is equal to text and uh, uh, let's uh, bind this input text field with the uh, property so I'm just going to bind uh, this input field with this property title. So just write here wire colon model and just add here the property name which is title. Now just close this. Also add here the br tag for line change. And just add here the text title. All right. Now let's create one more input text field for the name. So just write here name input type is equal to text and uh, wire model and just add here the property name name all right now let's uh, display this property this property title and name so for that just write here set the s3 tag first print the title so just write a title double curly bracket and dollar title and now for the name double curly bracket dollar name okay and now here let's add uh, let's display info zare property okay so for that just write here is three and inside this is add here a title life cycle hooks method all right and now just add here the for each directive so just write here at the rate for each and then uh, infos as dollar info and inside this just add here h4 tag and just print here this info okay so just paste here dollar info now save this file and uh, let's check this so just 
Let's go to the browser and uh, let's go to the URL. And here you can see the first hook method which is executed before rendering this component which is mount. Right? And now let's enter the text inside this title text box and see the changes here. So just write here. Uh, let's say A. And here you can see the after mounting hook just called, just executed the hydrating hook and then updating and then updated. Alright. And uh, here you have noticed here uh, these, uh, these hooks updating uh, name and uh, up updated name. These hooks are not executed. Okay because we are updating uh, this title property not this name property okay so now uh, let's add uh, text inside this name input text field which is bind with this name property all right so just write here any text uh, let's say s and here you can see the first execute executed the hook which is hydrate and second is updating in updating name property and after this just executed the updated hook and in last updated name property hook all right so in this way live wire life cycle hook works so that's all about live wire life cycle hook so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching